ENTSOE, the European Network of Transmission System Operators, represents 43 electricity transmission system operators TSOs from 36 countries across Europe, thus extending beyond EU borders. ENTSOE was established and given legal mandates by the EU's third package for the internal energy market in 2009, which aims at further liberalising the gas and electricity markets in the EU. History On 27 June 2008, 36 European Electricity Transmission System Operators TSOs signed in Prague a declaration of intent to create the ENTSOE. ENTSOE was established on 19 December 2008 in Brussels by 42 TSOs as a successor of six regional associations of the Electricity Transmission System Operators. ENTSOE became operational on 1 July 2009. The former associations ETSO, ATSOI, UKTSOA, NORDEL, UCTE and BALTSO became a part of the ENTSOE, while still offering data by their predecessors for public interest. Creation of ENTSOE was initiated by the adoption of the European Union Third Legislative Package on the Gas and Electricity Markets. In 2003, the European Commission conducted a sector inquiry concerning the competition of electricity market in six European countries. Examining competition in these countries, the final report stated serious issues to be solved. It was noticed that the integration between member states' markets is still insufficient. Additionally, the absence of transparently available market information was assessed. As a result, the third legislative package on the EU gas and electricity markets was adopted by the European Commission in September 2007. Topic objectives According to its website, ENTSOE promotes closer cooperation across Europe's TSOs to support the implementation of EU energy policy and achieve Europe's energy and climate policy objectives, which are changing the very nature of the power system. The main objectives of ENTSOE center on the integration of renewable energy sources res, such as wind and solar power into the power system, and the completion of the internal energy market IEM, which is central to meeting the European Union's energy policy objectives of affordability, sustainability and security of supply. ENTSOE aims to be the focal point for all technical, market and policy issues relating to TSOs and the European network, interfacing with power system users, EU institutions, regulators and national governments. Members <laughs> 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 TSOs are responsible for the bulk transmission of electric power on the main high-voltage electric networks. TSOs provide grid access to the electricity market players i.e., generating companies, traders, suppliers, distributors, and directly connected customers according to non-discriminatory and transparent rules. In many countries, TSOs are in charge of the development of the grid infrastructure, too. TSOs in the European Union internal electricity market are entities operating independently from the other electricity market players. Unbundling ENTSOE contains 43 TSOs from 36 countries. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geographical area. The geographical area covered by ENTSOE's member TSOs is divided into five synchronous areas and two isolated systems Cyprus and Iceland. Synchronous areas are groups of countries that are connected via their respective power systems. The system frequency 50 Hz, with usually very minor deviations is synchronous within each area, and a disturbance at one single point in the area will be registered across the entire zone. Individual synchronous areas are interconnected through direct current interconnectors. 
The benefits of synchronous areas include pooling of generation capacities, common provisioning of reserves, both resulting in cost savings, and mutual assistance in the event of disturbances, resulting in cheaper reserve power costs for instance in case of a disturbance or outage. Legal basis The Third Energy Package and Regulation EC No. 714 2009 on conditions for access to the network for cross-border exchanges in electricity regulation stipulate ENTSOE's tasks and responsibilities Regulation EU 838 2010 on guidelines relating to the inter-TSO compensation mechanism sets out the methodology by which TSOs receive compensation for the costs incurred in hosting cross-border flows of electricity. Regulation EU 347 2013 on guidelines for trans-European energy infrastructure defines European projects of common interest PCIs identifies ENTSOE's 10-year network development plan TYNDP as the basis for the selection of PCIs. ENTSOE is also mandated to develop a corresponding cost-benefit methodology for the assessment of transmission infrastructure projects. The Transparency Regulation No 543 2013 on submission and publication of data in electricity markets makes it mandatory for European member state data providers and owners to submit fundamental information related to electricity generation, load, transmission, balancing, outages, and congestion management for publication through the ENTSOE Transparency Platform. Topic. Key activities Topic. Pan European Transmission Network Plans and Cost Benefit Analysis The 10 year Network Development Plan 2016 is drafted by ENTSOE, in close cooperation with stakeholders, under scrutiny of ACER, and is finally adopted by the European Commission. It is the only existing pan European network development plan. It is the basis for the selection of EU projects of common interest. The list of PCIs is not fixed by ENTSOE and is subject to a different process led by the European Commission and EU member states. The TYNDP is updated every two years. For inclusion in the TYNDP, each project, whether transmission or storage, has to go through a cost-benefit analysis. The benefit analysis methodology is developed by ENTSOE in consultation with stakeholders and adopted by the European Commission. It assesses projects against socio-economic and environmental criteria. Topic adequacy forecasts ENTSOE publishes summer and winter generation outlooks, well as a long-term system adequacy forecast, the scenario outlook and adequacy forecast the seasonal outlooks assess if there is enough generation to cover supply and highlight possibilities for neighboring countries to contribute to the generation – demand balance in critical situations in a specific country. The SONAF analyses system adequacy on the long term and is connected to investment decisions. <laughs> Network codes. ENTSOE's network codes are binding pan-European rules drafted by ENTSOE in consultation with stakeholders, with guidance from ASAR. Network codes are grouped in three areas. Connection codes connecting electricity generators, demand, and direct current lines to the transmission grids. Operational codes governing how the pan-European electricity systems are operated and market codes facilitating and harmonizing electricity trading across European borders. The drafting and adoption process of network codes is defined by the third package. 
ASA develops a framework guideline setting the policy choices for each code. On this basis, the codes are drafted by ENTSOE in consultation with stakeholders. After ACER's opinion and recommendation for adoption, each code is submitted to the European Commission for approval through the comitology process, i.e., to be voted on by member state representatives and thus to become EU law, directly binding and implemented across all member states. Transparency Platform TP. ENTSOE's Central Information Transparency Platform provides free access to fundamental data and information on pan-European wholesale energy generation, transmission, and consumption. Topic research, Development, and Innovation RDI ENTSOE's R&D Roadmap provides the ENTSOE vision on grid projects to be carried out by TSOs to meet EU objectives. The roadmap is supported by the annual R&D implementation plan, which combines both top-down and bottom-up approaches in meeting the requirements of the roadmap. ENTSOE publishes annually a R&D monitoring report that assesses the progress of TSO-related R&D work. Topic governance ENTSOE is an international non-profit association established according to Belgian law. ENTSOE is financed by its members. The TSOs contribute to the budget according to the number of countries and the population served. The highest body of ENTSOE is the Assembly, which is composed of representatives at CEO level of all the currently 43 members. The ENTSOE board is elected every two years from the overall membership and through the Assembly. It includes 12 representatives. The President, Vice President, and Committee Chairs are invited to board meetings. The board coordinates the committees and LRG work and implements assembly decisions. ENTSOE has established four specialized committees composed of managers from member TSOs. Each committee leads a number of regional groups and working groups. At the same level as the four committees, the Transversal Legal and Regulatory Group advises all ENTSOE bodies on legal and regulatory issues. In addition, expert groups on data, network codes implementation, and EU affairs provide specific expertise and work products to the association. ENTSOE's secretariat is based in Brussels. It is headed by the Secretary General and represents ENTSOE to the European institutions, regulators, and stakeholders. Organizational chart Topic Key Figures twenty fourteen Forty one transmission system operators, thirty four European countries, five hundred and thirty two million customers served. 312,693 kilometers, 194,298 miles of transmission lines. 3,174 2 terawatt hours electricity transported. 423,586 gigawatt hours of electricity exchange between member TSOs. 1,023,721 MW net generation capacity connected to the grid. See also EURELECTRIC Agency for the Cooperation of Energy Regulators European Energy Community European Network of Transmission System Operators for Gas ENTSOG IPS UPS TSO Organization for the Networks of Most of the Former Soviet Republics and Mongolia SuperSmart Grid European Super Grid